In this video, I'll show you how to correctly service your Viqua VH200 UV disinfection system to make sure it keeps providing safe drinking water for you and your family. If you're looking for simplified step-by-step -step maintenance instructions to change the lamp and properly service the quartz sleeve, including resetting the timer on your Viqua VH200, this video is for you. By the end of this video, you'll also know what tools and supplies you'll need to complete the annual maintenance. Make sure you watch this video right to the end because I've got a great tip on how to ensure you're getting the correct OEM replacement Viqua UV lamp and quartz sleeve at the lowest cost. That way you'll keep your UV system working properly and you'll continue protecting your family from harmful bacteria. To begin, you'll need a replacement lamp. However, it's also a great idea to have a spare sleeve on hand just in case you open up the UV and find that your sleeve is so dirty it's difficult to clean or in case the sleeve accidentally gets damaged during the service. We have both both the lamp and sleeve available for purchase in a bundle, which is a perfect way to save money compared to purchasing them individually. Check out our websites, watereastore.com in the US and watereastore.ca in Canada. We offer free shipping and discount pricing. We've added the links in the description below to make sure you get the right ones for your VH200, and you can even subscribe to get them shipped every year automatically. What could be easier than that? By the way, if you're not 100% sure how a UV system works, check out our video. I'll add a link in the description below. In addition to the lamp and sleeve, you'll need some clean cloths, a bucket, a towel to protect the floor in case you spill some water, also some vinegar, CLR, or a similar cleaning product to clean the sleeve. We strongly recommend wearing gloves or using a clean cloth to handle the new quartz sleeve and the UV lamp. You'll also need clear plumber's silicone grease. You should have a pre-filter before the UV lamp, like this one, so this is also an ideal time to change that filter as well. If you're not sure what type or size filter you need, you can always email us a picture of what you have and we can recommend a replacement for you. Step one is to shut off your water supply and open one downstream faucet to release the pressure. Press the button on top of the filter housing to release the pressure from the filter cartridge, like this. Disconnect the power source and allow the system to cool for about 10 minutes. Remove the lamp connector by squeezing the plastic locking tabs in the side of the connector and pulling, like this. Next, we're going to remove the lamp by pulling it out from the chamber and the connector base. Next, we'll remove both the bottom and the top retaining nut. You'll notice here that the spring came out as well. Next, I'm gonna remove the quartz sleeve and the O-rings. Make sure to clean the quartz sleeve with a cloth soaked in CLR, vinegar, or some other mild acid, and then rinse it with water. Note, if the sleeve cannot be cleaned completely or it's scratched or cracked, then you should just replace it. It's very important that you don't touch the quartz sleeve or UV lamp with your bare hands, so either wear gloves or use a cloth. However, you can hold the lamp at the ends where it's not glass. Install the quartz sleeve in the chamber, allowing the sleeve to protrude an equal distance at both ends. I really should be wearing gloves for this part, but for this demonstration, I'm just going to be using my bare hands. Grease and slide the supplied O-rings onto each end of the quartz sleeve like I have here. Reinstall the top and bottom retaining nuts, tightening them with your hands. Hand tighten only since tightening will crack the sleeve if you go too far. Then insert the floating spring into the sleeve. Mine was already on the base when I inserted it. Next, we're gonna insert the new lamp into the chamber. It leaves about two inches of the lamp protruding from the chamber. Next, we're gonna attach the connector to the lamp. Note, the connector will only fit correctly in one position, so make sure you have it lined up correctly. Next, we're gonna hold down the timer reset button, which is located right over here. Make sure you're holding it while you're reapplying power to the controller until you see the R set on the display. Then release the timer reset button. A five second delay will occur until you hear an audible tone and the LED display will read 365 once again. Next, we're gonna open the pre-filter housing by turning it canister counterclockwise until it falls free from the head. We'll get it started with this wrench, but once it's going, you can usually do it with your bare hands. If you have difficulty getting it loose, we have a great YouTube video that shows you how to do it. We'll put a link in the description below. Next, you're gonna to wanna to remove and discard the old cartridge. In this case, we have a brand new one in here, so this I'll just be putting this back into the housing. 
Next, you're gonna to wanna to reinstall the housing, making sure the O-ring is coated with silicone grease and that it's fully seated in the housing. Open a faucet downstream of the system and turn on the water supply. After the air has been purged, close the downstream faucet. Then press the pressure release button on the filter housing to purge the air, like this. If the system hasn't been running for a while, you'll need to disinfect the UV with chlorine. We have a great YouTube video that shows you how. We'll put a link in the description below. We've included links in the description below where you can order your Viqua VH200 replacement lamp and sleeve. You can even subscribe to receive it automatically every year and save money and time. Not sure about how these UV systems actually work? We've got a great video. Click here and we'll see you there.